Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Now that Elon Musk has dared Hamza Yousaf to sue him, and of course there is no chance on God's good earth that Hamza Yousaf will sue uh, Elon Musk because of two very important things. Number one, Elon's got all the money in the world and can buy the very, very bestest ever lawyers. And number two, Elon's right. He's got the best defence in the world. Facts. You know, the truth is on his side. Because we all know that Hamza Yousaf has made very racist speeches. And of course, there's that threat by Musk, who says that not only has he made those speeches and said things in the public domain, he says it's even worse in his DMs. And of course, the man who owns those DMs is Elon Musk. And he's threatening, of course, uh, to release them. And so knowing that he can't sue, uh, he's got to try and save face. So what does Hamza do? Well, he says, oh, look, it's all the fault of white people. It's white people. It's all the British people. It's their fault. And he's saying that decades of British xenophobia has caused this rise in hate against refugees. No, nobody hates refugees. And the very few refugees that do come here are often glad to be here. No, no, what we dislike is illegal immigrants coming here to rook our system and suck from the public teat. Refugees welcome. I think we can all agree. If someone is genuinely a refugee, we offer them sucker. But when you're getting an invading horde coming across the channel in their little boats, all men of fighting age, none of whom are legally refugees because they're coming from a safe country, none of whom are documented, none of whom are you know, have a history, none of them are walking straight up and begging for a, a asylum. No, no, they're running straight out into the countryside. They want to get away as quickly as possible, you know. They're not the ones we want. They're not refugees. And it isn't xenophobia, because if it was xenophobia, you have to ask why Hamza Yousaf has got a front door in his house. Is it to keep out people he doesn't want coming in? Or does that make him a xenophobe because he's got a front door in his house? Seems odd, doesn't it? Because, of course, it isn't xenophobia at all. It's common sense. You don't just let anyone in. You don't know who these people are. You don't know what their intentions are. And we've seen the results recently of what immigration can do. There's good immigration and there's bad immigration. Good immigration are things like your doctors and your nurses, people coming in and working in the service industries, working and doing a job, integrating, paying their taxes, involving themselves in society. Excellent. Excellent integration. Excellent immigration. Excellent people. That security guard, Abdullah, yesterday, the one who, without thinking, leapt on this guy and probably saved that child's life. Good immigration. Well done to him. But when you get thousands upon thousands coming in, that isn't that isn't uh, xenophobia to be scared of them. That's common damn sense, right? So anyway, Yousaf is warning that we're all xenophobic. And he's saying it's not just the people, it's the institutions. Yes, how amazing, isn't it? How the institutions are xenophobic when it is the institutions going against the very will of the people and letting these people in. So straight away, we know that Hamza Yousaf is talking a complete load of pish, right? Um, the former SNP leader spoke out, I'll just read this a little bit, I spoke out after a poll found, and this is, this is where you have to wonder about his sense, that 36% of adults across the UK agreed when asked if xenophobic acts of violence were justified if they resulted in fewer refugees being settled in your town. But they aren't refugees, so that question is first of all wrong. Secondly, 36% said yes, which means 64% said no. Destroying any argument that we are, as a nation, xenophobic, when the vast majority clearly are not. Destroyed by his own argument. And the fact is that all of these people coming in aren't refugees. Um, of course, this is all as a result of this little spat with this childlike man, Hamza Yousaf, is having with um, Batman. And Batman's going to win. Batman's, like I say, Batman's got the truth on his side. 
Um, I do hope that Elon does leak those messages. It'd be lovely to see. And it would absolutely put a final cork in the bottle of Hamza Yousaf. Uh, and that claim that he's going to leave Europe because it's xenophobic and Islamophobic. And then, 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 there. And we know, and we've covered it. We know it's bullshit. He's getting out of Dodge before the police come a knocking and charging him with funding terrorism. That's why he's gaslighting all us to say, oh, look at me, this xenophobia, I've got to go. Oh, I don't want to raise my children in an Islamophobic nation. Well, pick your poison, mate. I bet if you asked Hamza Yousaf, what would be the Muslim country of choice that you'd be happy to go and live in? He couldn't answer straight away. He'd have to think about it. Because they don't. If Muslim countries were so great to live in, why aren't all the Muslims going there? Why are they all coming here? That's the question that needs to be asked. Um, the impact of the lies and smears posted, he says, on social media has become a huge topic and it's caused the violent disorder we've seen. Yes, there has been misuse. There has been the wrong things posted. But I don't think you blame the social media for the problem. I think you blame the people who slit the throats of little girls. That's the real cause of the problem. It's the mass, unlimited, undocumented immigration where you don't know who these people are and where the authorities don't want to find them, can't be asked to stop them. They could stop them like that. If I was in charge of this country, I would stop immigration overnight. And I've said, I've said before, what you've got to do, say to the French, for every immigrant that comes into our country from your shores, your fishermen have a seven-day ban from our waters. Let me tell you, there wouldn't be one boat leaving the French. Eh? Not one. Um, but anyway, he is sitting there. He's having that, like I say, he's having that little girly spat. And he doesn't know what to do. He is so frightened not just of any proposed legal action, which he won't do, he knows. He's frightened that Musk will release the DMs. But he's also frightened that people will see him for what he is. A windbag. A complete empty vessel. A straw man. He can't... He can't sue. But he doesn't want to be seen as being cowardly and not suing. And he doesn't want to be seen as looking guilty by not suing. So he's got to come out on the attack and use the X word. I think when you're talking about uh, Elon Musk, you shouldn't use any words beginning with X. He probably owns the copyright on them. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, so I just have a news flash. Major incident at Glasgow Pub. I'll have a look at that. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Is he running scared? Is he a weak man? Or is he just bullshitting his way and hoping we don't notice what uh, an empty vessel he truly is? Anyway, till next time, stay safe, stay well. I speak to you later. Bye.